Hey folks, Kiltman here, Kiltman, and outside there is a raging storm, and it is, as the husky now departs, <laughs> um, as usual, doesn't want a starring role in this particular video, uh, Storm Gareth is hitting the UK at the moment. Why is it hurricanes are named after women, is that right? The storms are named after men. Is that because, you know, as far as blokes are concerned, it's all a storm and a teacup. It all means nothing. Well, it means nothing, but it's blowing a right hooly dooly out there at the moment. Now, I've got a bit of an unboxing to do today. The box is just here. And there was a clue as to what's inside the box. And another clue is this. Halloween 2. This is the, the revamped, remixed version of the famous John Carpenter Halloween theme. I've played it before in other videos, I've discussed it before. John Carpenter, who composed his own scores. Now, how did he learn how to do that? Yes, on the first one was piano with synth embellishments, second film it was pure synth. But how did he learn that, that incredibly up tempo, fast beat? Well, his daddy. Big Carpenter Senior was a member of a jazz band in Kentucky, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And he taught, because John Carpenter has no musical background at all. He's learned nothing, he's self-taught. And uh, he learned how to do what is this theme, the 5-4 rhythm. On the bongos! And this is that theme, it's gorgeous. Now, I've always had a fascination for bongos. I've never played it in my life, never. I haven't got a clue how you do it, but I just love the sound of it. And I'm a founder believer in the fact that whatever piece of music is playing, it can only be enhanced by bongos. So finally, finally, courtesy of Amazon Prime. Now, I'm not giving them a shout out to try and get things for free at all, no. I ordered these last night, at 11 o'clock last night, 11, 2300 hours I ordered these and they arrived today at 10 hundred hours, so less than 24 hours, sorry less than 12, less than 12 hours it took to get here, that's unbelievable, they didn't get to my house, they went there, they went next door, next door, we went here, so I've only just got these babies, so now you know it, with my trusty ski and do, and you know what that is, the Scottish dagger, the dirk that lives down. Your boots, lives down your boots, there. Down that side of your boots, you know? And this, this sucker here has, uh, has done more damage to me than anything else. <laughs> Namely, on unboxings like this. So hey folks, I'm dreading this. I'm excited and yet dreading it at the same time. So, rock jam. And these are, what's, what lurks in here, hopefully, is uh, professional bongos. So let me just, you know what, I'm gonna do it safely on here because you know what a clumsy, cack-handed fool Killman can be. You know, I'm playing the Halloween theme. That guy there with a fucking knife and I'm using a knife. Well, that was fairly easy. So, oh yeah, that's good. So you can see what's going on here. Ooh, we have more cardboard. Look. Nice little, aha, now look, look at this. Oh, this is nice. Nothing else in there. It comes with its own little sports bag, its own little sports hold all. Off you go. Off to the gym with your bongos. <laughs> Let's have a little look at this, come on. Right, I'm gonna get into this. That's, that's a nice little bag, actually. Okay, so that's... Ooh, here they are. Okay, there's something else in here. There's a little... Dear customer, 
We hope that you are delighted with your purchase. However, if you find any issues, like the fact that your hands don't really work on them and you're getting no good sound out of it, um, you can... Oh, you can swivel. Oh, charming. <laughs> Actually, these are highly recommended. Rock jam. Rock jam, they're called. Folks. There they are. There's the skins. There's the thing that you hit. You get a big one, a smaller one. Big one, a smaller one. Do you like my bongos, boys? Why is one always bigger than the other? Uh, they're joined together there. And wonderful stuff they are too. Now, now, this is a natural finish. This, oof, that's a good sound already. Um, do you know what? After I bought these, I discovered because in my haste to buy some bongos, when I finally thought, no, I'm going to do it. So last night I thought, go on Amazon, find these bongos. And there was page after page after page of bongos. And I, I read the reviews and I thought, yeah, they'll do. You know, they're not, they're not that expensive. You know, and they'll, they'll be good. They'll be fine. And only after I bought them, in fact, only this morning on the way to work on the train, and I was Googling pictures of bongos, did I find some tartan fucking bongos. Kilt man, should have had them. And what it was, was these bits here, this uh, this shell, this sort of veneer, um, was in, in the Royal Stuart <laughs> tartan. Shit, what an ideal. I'm actually wearing the Stuart black right now. Neat now. Anyway, so there's something else in here. Oh yeah, the obligatory little uh, what do you call that? Uh, cocaine? I don't know what it is. It takes the moisture out of things. This, oh! Little key. Can you see that? Little key. Now, that is to tighten the uh, the skins. So you can change the sound. You can tighten it, you can loosen it, you can do whatever. How would you do that? I wonder how you do that. How, how would you go? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, yeah. I'll have a go at that in a minute, I promise you. I'm just trying to work out how you tighten. Well, clearly, clearly it's down here. Fits these nuts down here, these screws down here. So you tighten it like that. Right, got you. So that will pull, that will pull these skins a bit more taut. Okay, okay, I'm with you. Okay, right, let's, let's have a little go on these. <laughs> so I'll move a bit closer. <laughs> Reposition myself. And uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll... well, you've heard the, the theme. How hard can that be? How hard can that be? Well, we'll find out, won't we? It's probably better if I played the music alongside, they might disguise, you know, just how much I screw this up. Um, I'm not sure which way around they're meant to go. But let's just have a little go at this. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> so, hang on, hang on. Okay, 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 right. Now, I know that you can change the sound by where you, where you obviously hit these things and the shape of your hand, when you, you can cup your hand, you can tap it, you can use the, the heel of your hand, the blade, you know, fingertips. Well, I'm guessing you can do all that. I'm guessing that's allowed. I don't know, maybe there's some kind of laws about how you, how you treat your bongos. Uh, so anyway, Halloween. somewhere there of course the thing I remember that you're supplying just the bass line aren't you the bass rhythm when I say bass I don't mean like the percussive bass I mean the foundation of the, the theme is that rhythm that 5-4 rhythm <laughs> actually it's not that easy
See, see how this different sounds? It's kind of a bit of that as well, you know, like this, can you pat your head and rub your chest at the same time? And I can do it that way, but I'm not sure I can, no, oh, I can, I can do it that way. So I think, you know, it's, can you, people can drum and they can drum and strum and, you know, hum. <laughs> but I think it's going to take some working out. Obviously, it's a trial by error. I've just thought of another, another theme, heavily influenced by bongos, um, Lucio Fulci. Zombie flesh, the great zombie flesh eaters, the gut munching, throat ripping, shark battling, head blowing aparting, <laughs> uh, zombie epic set on the uh, Caribbean island of Matul. And I, I have covered it, there is a video. Scroll back, you'll find a video on zombie flesh eaters. And I do discuss the, uh, the, the great, fantastic score by Fabio Fritzi. Italian synth god, and again, like Carpenter, he was a, he played the synth. It was electronica that he used, but he also had it was embellished by voodoo drums. And there is one of the main themes to a. Uh, I'm doing a lot of pointing. One of the main themes of Zombie Flesh Eaters is is this. Let's see if we can get this right. Let's see, and I might not. Yeah, yeah, and of course, obviously, you've got to remember that there's other rhythms that, and motifs that come into that and f add flavour and colour to it all. So this this is just, you know, there's a lot. And of course, you could, you could attach them you know, on a little belt, a little sort of belt system, a harness, and you could walk around the streets, busking around Liverpool. Come on! Tapping your skins. Oh yeah. If you rattle the blade, you'd be thumb against it. Let's do a spider effect. Is that a legit move? Don't know. The crossover. The Kiltman crossover. <laughs> but, you know, when you bat the rat, you know, the fun fair, and the rat heads keep popping up, and you've got to smash them. Bof, 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 bof. You know, watching this right now, there's going to be some people who go, I can play the bongos, I can play the drums, I can play spoons. You, kill the man, you can't play shit. You can't play anything. You're absolutely bloody rubbish. You know what, I probably am. I probably am. But I've just got them out the bloody package. I don't know what you do with them. I just love them. I just know that I love them. <laughs> I kind of lose. I kind of lose where I'm going with these rhythms. Suppose you can even. Ooh. What was that? What was that? Come on now. I'll do it again. <laughs> I fucked it up at the end. Ah, uh, well, what the, whatever. Whatever. Let's, let's try some little hand jiggery pokery. <laughs> I know there's a way of cupping your hand around or sort of and slapping it. Obviously, this is where this comes in. You could do like you could be doing some sort of like finger tap on that one, and a, 
and a cut blade scoop thing. Doesn't sound particularly good. <laughs> I mean, this is the obvious thing. You just go like, you go, oh, it's just the angle. I want to some voodoo beat going. You want like a fire roar in there. And nubile, partially clad dancers leaping over the flames. <laughs> Of course, they tend to end up like slit, slitting chicken throats and pouring the blood all over themselves and having orgies. So it ain't all bad, is it? <laughs> Unless you're vegan. Vegan voodoo! Hey, I'm a vegan and voodoo practitioner! That's what I am! So yeah, I mean, you can make different sounds out of this, I presume, by you know tightening or loosening these um, skins. And uh, I love them. You know, I, I really, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, that's no shock to you guys, is it? That Killer Man hasn't got a fucking clue what he's doing with these babies. But tell you what, let's, let's go back onto Halloween. Let's just see if you can pick up what I mean uh, by this. Let's go. This is classic moment. This is like Halloween too. But it recaps the end of the first movie. Loomis has shot the shape, him over the balcony. He's come down and the body's not there. He's like, puts his hand in the blood. And the guy from next door comes out and goes, he goes, what's going on? I've been trick or treated to death tonight. And Loomis turns around and goes, you don't know what death is. And then <laughs> I've lost the beat. Alter the the uh, the tomba the tomba of the piece. Yeah. You know, kind of wish I'd have, you know John Carpenter just there, just kind of off camera with the synth, you know, with his cool ponytail and his shades on.
indulge me. This is just kill man unboxing his bongos live on YouTube. You never thought you wanted to see it, but you got it anyway. Well, I wonder if we can do Escape from New York. Let's bugger off with Halloween for a second. That effective is it? How does the um, the Duke of New York stuff go? Um, oh god, how does it go? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Something like that. I can't let him to do this. But I'm, folks, I'm loving him. Uh, rock jam. Rock Jam is the make, and I read the reviews, and the, apparently, the super, apparently they're better than I make them sound. <laughs> Any qualms you have with the uh, the performance tonight, the recital, the sound quality, it's all down to me. Me, shoddy recording equipment, naff hands, and complete, you know, tone deafness, and a lack of musical creativity and talent. But passion's all there. And I can make great faces too. And that folks, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. Plenty more stuff to come. And um Another unboxing, hopefully tomorrow. I've got stuff arriving tomorrow as well. Masks! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! So, not that mask, not Halloween masks, but... Ooh, from two classic horror movies. Two classic horror movies. Oh yeah. Can't wait. So, folks, I'm going to leave you all for the time being to contemplate the beauty of the bongos. Just exactly what they mean to mankind and how they've played a, a huge part in the history of society. And in the meantime, take it easy, drink whiskey, have fun. If you can, sport a snake pliskin, you know, vinyl, shiny, wet look, sleeveless, muscled, muscle t shirt with trendy, you know, shock rock zips in. <laughs> if you can and um, get yourself a pair of these they're not expensive at all obviously obviously you can go up in price um, but these were 30 quid the princely sum of 30 quid and you know next time you see me use these i'll be able to hold a tune or a rhythm without fucking it up and the hand going, a big jelly hand, and, you know, and missing the beat. It's gonna work. In the meantime, gonna see you all. <laughs> Bongos are where it's at. Don't forget it now. <laughs>